Hi everybody. So here we are. We've got the sidewall on the tail cone. Now we are continuing with the wiring. Uh, as <clears throat> as I was talking about in the last video, uh, this is the first time that I'm really uh, starting to delve into the plane's wiring. Not an easy topic. It's a very in-depth topic because you it, it's it's one of those things that you have to be precise about. Uh, you know, there's there's very few things that you need to be ultra precise about. Things like, you know, fuel air ro uh, ratios, uh, weight and balance. Uh, n maybe not weight and balance, but uh, but wiring, yeah. Uh, because unlike a house that just grounds back into the earth which can be as wasteful as anyone really wants it to be, as long as it's safe. Uh, plane is basically its own self-contained Faraday cage. <clears throat> to avoid having magnetic disruptions with your equipment or anything else, you really need to make sure that all of your electrical wiring is uh, grounded safe back to a main ground, right? So you want to have you know, normally you could just have a, a, a one wire leading all the way out to the, your wingtip. You plug in a landing light, and then you could easily just ground it to the airframe as the return. Uh, that's fine, but then you're pumping 12 volts, you know, into the airframe, which is going to cause huge uh, electrical disruptions and all kinds of mess, and you don't need that. So instead, you have the return line, like in your house, that goes all the way back to the source. That way there's no uh, big static loops or anything like that. So for that reason, I never really designed my own system yet. I've been kind of working on it. Uh, a, a so take the tail cone, for example, while I'm sitting here working on the uh, other, pardon me, the other launch run. So the idea was that the tail cone I was going to put instead of, so the ELT goes in the back, right? So on in this tail cone, on top of the very back of the, of the tail cone is where the ELT sits, underneath the vertical stabilizer, behind eventually where the fairing empennage, uh, empennage fairing is going to be. Well, I was going to put the adhards there. Okay, so then I need to move the uh, then I need to move that you know ELT somewhere else. And so I hadn't really thought about that. Uh, to as well as I should have, uh, because ultimately the it just comes back down to uh, if you're going to do your own custom wiring, then you need to know you really need to know every single piece of what you're going to put in, where it's going to be, pretty much before you do it, or you run the risk of having to crawl inside tiny places, uh, or God forbid, like having to open up wings again or something like that. So instead of changing up everything, I thought, you know what? Oh, by the way, look at that shaved face. Oh, and I also got schmutz on my nose. This is the first time that I've been clean shaven in almost 10 years. <clears throat> Don't ask why, just thought it would be a nice change of pace, and I regretted it 10 minutes later. My wife loves it, but I didn't. So anyway, um, I thought to myself, you know, this is your first plane. Why don't you just shut the hell up, do what the instructions do, and do as you're told. So I did. Uh, I put the stock wiring harness in, which, let me tell you, Vans, A-OK. -okay. And the only, the only hard part about putting that uh, wiring harness in that you saw yesterday was there's two return lines from the uh, elevator trim and so you have to basically unroll uh, half of or the entire wiring harness to get it all the way out to the end then you have to trail two wires back so that's kind of a pain and then you actually wind up uh, pushing other wires or cables along the same paths so another thing about the wiring is like well where do the wires go uh, in the tail cone they go along J channels or somewhere else. Uh, here I am doing a little bit of modification on the uh, tail stop. Sorry, I, I should I should know that I'm working on the tail stop here. But uh, you know, and it fits and it fits great, and that's perfectly fine. Uh, I'm just gonna go with it. I'm gonna put the Adahars in the left wing, uh, like 
it shows you to do. I've been just sort of like, you know what, I can put it wherever I want. No, you know what, I'm going to put it where Vance thinks I should put it. If it's good enough for their designs, then by God it's good enough for me. So, so now that both of the skins are on, uh, and those are Clicoed also, I think I also have all of the back ones Clicoed on as well, the back bulkheads. Uh, now the final assembly of the whole thing can begin. And were I at least smart enough to point the camera in the direction that you could see it, I would show it to you. But yeah, so the first thing is we're going to finally rivet that tail to the skid pad and then go on from there. So anyway, we'll see you in the next video.